what awaits our intrepid hero today? Will his face be eaten? All these answers and more this episode of My Face Gets Eaten by Tentacles. Ow. Not really sure why... Ugh. Games still think you need to have a press button to continue screen when you get a game over. It's like... It makes it all that much more enticing to just not continue playing. And it's like, they want to make it a little easier for you to just be like, Nope, I just want to stop playing. It's like, the harder you make it to continue playing, even if it's something that seems so simple, it just makes it that much easier to quit. And that much more enticing for quitting. To quit something. Something about enticements. But really, why do I need to click to continue? Don't be annoying. Just frickin' respawn me. Unless there's like some really good reason why I'm like, no, I really wanted to die there, and I'm just like, oh. I see. Yeah, I can't imagine in any situation where I'd really want to be like, okay, I died. I really, really want the game to just fucking stop and require my input before I continue at a safe point. Now, if I'm gonna respawn into, like, a freaking combat zone or something, that's fine, but... In this game, you always respawn at a safe place, so... Just... respawn me. It's not really a big... prob... Ow. But, really, I respawn at a perfectly safe location every time. And even if I didn't, if I die... If I, you know, if I have instant respawn and I just die again... It's not a problem, because I'll just instantly respawn again. That's the nice thing about instant respawn. That's why... Do you know how annoying Super Meat Boy would have been if it wasn't instant respawn? It's already frustrating, but not in stupid ways. If you had to press a button every time you died in that game, there would be so much rage. And, like... You know, very justified... Rage about terrible game mechanics. It's not even a game mechanic, it's just... Just dumbness. Don't do that. I'm not blaming the creator, it's just... A moronic expectation of video games that, oh, there's gonna be a game over screen. Because you're gonna be like, Oh! I died! I did not realize this would end my game! I am so surprised at this, I am very glad you brought this to my attention. I was so not aware that I died! You know, you can go ahead and show a death animation. Don't make them retardedly long, though, because we really don't care. We get that we died. Don't, you know... You don't need to show an ornate ten-minute death animation every time we die. We get the point. Can I escape that? No, I can't. Yeah, the death animation isn't too long. I'm not complaining about the death animation in this game. But... Click to get... Ten... lag kind of gets annoying. But I understand that, you know, flash games are going to perform as well on every computer, but quality settings are pretty important for flash because of that. How did I waste all of my things already? I do not like this portion. Do not like it, good sir. Do not like it with a goat. I do not like it on a boat. So double clicked and sent out two of the little things. There's no way I should have gone through. Go! Fuck! I freaking clicked like three times. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. See, the the game over screen seems neat when the you, you hit it like once, but when the character when the player is dying multiple times already. They're already going to be frustrated. And then you add more frustration of, yes, I have to click again. And yes, I saw the game over screen again. Yes, I know I'm dead. Frickin' Oh, god damn it. See? Just no. Just say no to retarded game over screens. No one cares. No one cares. And even in fighting games, 
It's not an arcade. I don't need the fucking game over countdown. And, you know, there's rare occasion where you might, you know, you might want to just cancel and not play, but really, if you start the match over, I can just pause the game and quit. Or, if I can't pause the game and quit, that's an even bigger problem than your game over screen, so, yeah. Yeah, the game over counter makes perfect sense in an arcade game, but, uh, no one has played arcade games. No one. In like 30 years, you know, maybe you play DDR, maybe, but pretty much no. Ugh. See, you're just giving me more to be annoyed about. Oh, it was right here. Never give the already frustrated player or user more things to be pissed at you for. That just not cool, bro. It's not cool. Alright, something ain't kill me already. Would you frickin' kill me? My god. Hurry it up. Especially when I need to die to do stuff. The long... Oh, son of a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I didn't even think I'd mention it at first. Because this game wasn't very hard. It's not really that hard. It's just... You know, being stuck for two minutes isn't relatively a major problem at all, but when I have to... when I die like ten times and I have to click, you know, like ten times through the same stupid screen, it's kind of annoying. One of the rare occasions when a game over screen is okay, when it's like... Well, sometimes it's okay for an RPG when you very rarely die, but even that's just kind of an insult. Game over screens really are just an insult, though. So, you know, consider if an insult is appropriate. Or if it's just, you know, like, um... You know, like, for I want to be the guy, I can't imagine why you'd need a game over screen where you're gonna die that many times. Nobody likes your game over screen. That's that's the main takeaway point here. And I don't have much else to say about this game at this point. So I'm sorry, but Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm a bit impatient, but people that play flash games are impatient. You can't annoy people and expect them to continue to play your free game when there's 5,000 other... No, when there's 5 million other free games I can be playing. And that's not an excuse to just make your game super easy, that's to make your game super usable. Which is never a bad thing. Easy and usable are not the same thing. And the challenge from your... God damn it! Why'd you even latch on? Yeah, the challenge in your game should never be because I have to get through 50,000 menus and replay the same bit 20,000 times. Son of a bitch. I am just being a bit impatient here, but... The lag is kinda more than a little frustrating. And the lag in combination with all the other stupid stuff. Kind of a bit much right now. Oh, for Pete's sake, fall off the cliff. Yay, lag everywhere! Like, seriously, Epic Battle Fantasy doesn't lag this much on high quality. Why do they die so quickly sometimes? Yeah, yeah. Jump. And you can't feel how frost What? Nothing even touched me. 
but you can't feel how annoying the controls are being right now, but... Ugh. Being really freaking bad. Okay! A bat being 20 feet away from me will kill me, sure, sure. What the heck, I was clearly on that freaking platform and I just... I'll play it later.